going on guys? This is Ray Command. Welcome back to my channel. So today, 8-Bit Do, one of my favorite retro companies, has released the 4.0 firmware to most of their controllers. What this firmware does is that it allows for, say, this controller, which is the FC30 Pro, to take the place of a Pro controller for the Switch, which is awesome because unlike Switch pads, you have an actual D-pad. Something that's horribly missing from the Switch. And apparently, well, let me show you the actual Switch controller. So you see there's no D-pad there. You kind you have these four face buttons that are supposed to act like a D-pad, but if you've tried them, they're pretty horrible, especially if you're trying to play anything that's 2D. There is a Pro Pad that's released by Nintendo itself, but the problem with that pad is, from what I've read is, the D-pad on the Pro controller for the Switch doesn't have a pivot point, which is this little let me see if I can uh, get it on camera here. You see that middle point right there? When you press on it, see how it kind of rocks around? Well, that makes a big difference when you're playing the game. Supposedly, the Switch Pro Controller does ha not have that option, so when you press down, you press down on pretty much every direction at once, which is gonna mess you up in terms of fighting games. So it kind of defeats the purpose of a 2D controller if that's the case. Now, the controllers for the 8-bit though, these controllers are based on original Back in the days, Nintendo designs for the Nintendo and the Super Nintendo, and even the N64, we had those controllers. Now, these actually have the pivot point, so they're, they're gonna be great to play with. They're my personal favorite controllers. Uh, they work on Bluetooth. They work on pretty much anything. Uh, work, they work on Windows with direct input. They work on Android natively. You can get them to work with iOS and Mac, and Mac OS. iOS was the support was removed with this firmware update, but if you go to back to a legacy firmware, you can st still use it with a, as an IK controller for the iOS, and it still works with macOS, so you can, you can pretty much use it with pretty much anything. I've used it with practically everything, and I mean, it's not perfect. Sometimes it has little issues here and there, but most, for the most part, they, it works pretty well. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how this thing works. Now, one thing I will say with this firmware is, you will ha have to power on your switch manually because there's really no way for this to turn on your switch for you. You can A, either walk up to the switch and press the power button the old fashioned way, or if you have your pro controller, I mean, well, your Joy-Con, Joy-Grip combination here, you can still hold the home button down, which will power on your console. All right, guys, I just flipped over the camera. So as you can see, you have the 8-bit Do controller right here. The switch is on, so in order to pair it, just hold down the Y button and press the power button. It'll sync on. And as you see, bam. You can go ahead and control it. It'll show up on the menu as a pro controller, which is what you want. Now, just keep in mind that unlike the pro controller, this has no motion detection, nor does it have any kind of HD rumble or anything like that, it's just gonna give you all the buttons that you need. On the bottom, the power button is actually your home button, and this is actually the back button, it's a screenshot button. Everything else should be pretty self-explanatory in terms of how it works. Uh, the, the button's pretty much mapped correctly, L1, L2, R2, and R1, B, A, X, and Y, select start, you know, all that, all that good stuff. Right here, you have Mario Kart 8. I'm gonna press two buttons to sync. All right, so just run through everything real quick. Both you see the analog 
and the joypad, and they both control just fine. As you can see. So overall, my opinion is it's definitely a recommend. If you don't already have the controller and you just want something kind of nostalgic that'll let you play with multiple consoles and OSs, it's a definite recommend. So guys, I'm glad you enjoyed the overview. Hope you enjoy these controllers. Hope you uh, check them out on your own. This is not sponsored. I've paid for everything here on my own. And I hope you guys thumbs up, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.